Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video. So on this channel, we talk about topics such as business, entrepreneurship, and side hustles. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to find hair vendors for free using social media. So the avenues that I'm going to show y'all how to find them are we're going to use Facebook for one, like especially Facebook groups, Instagram, and then TikTok. So one of the things, especially when it comes to selling hair, is a lot of people want to know how do I find vendors. So it's 2022. Like back then when people first started selling hair, like having our vendors was a secret, which it still is a secret for a lot of people, but the vendors were actually in hiding. But now that social media has blown up and taken off and the vendors have actually seen what their customers are able to do with their hair businesses. So now they want a piece of the pie. The vendors are no longer hiding. They want people to know about them. They want people to come shop with them. Cause like the same thing with America and China is also competitive for hair businesses. So they're trying to get as many customers as possible. And they don't care if they're stepping on the business's foot, if they're stepping on other companies in China's feet, they don't care. So I'm going to show y'all exactly how you can find them because they're no longer in hiding anymore. So the first one we're going to talk about is actually finding a vendor on Facebook. So Facebook is probably one of the easiest methods that you can use because there's a lot of people on Facebook in different groups sharing free vendor lists. Now with these vendor lists, one thing you want to pay attention to is that when someone purchases a vendor list, there's normally, let's say about 10 to 20, sometimes even up to 50 vendors on this list. So you as a business owner, you still have to do your due diligence with researching these vendors. And there's several different ways that you can research them. You can search them on Instagram. You can search them on YouTube to see if anyone else have done any reviews on them. And you can also do a quick search with them just on the internet, just to see like different images that they have on Google, what website pops up, if they have an Alibaba website, you can do all that when it comes to researching these vendors. So when it comes to finding these actual groups that have free vendor lists, I'm going to pull up a couple and show you exactly what the process looks like. So typically when it comes to vendors, like a lot of vendors, like especially right now, like I know my vendors are extremely popular and a lot of people are all using the same vendor. One of the things that we're running into too now especially when it comes to finding a vendor is that sometimes with the vendor the consistency can be a little off but that's going to be the same with a lot of vendors because with selling hair it's oversaturated everybody wants to do it so the vendors now are trying to keep up with the demand which is causing the hair quality to go down so if you didn't already check out i did make a new vendor checklist a while back which is still useful to this day so you can download that free vendor checklist so when you're talking to these vendors you can write down your top questions that you have to see if you even want to check out the hair and a lot of times when you contact these vendors you can ask them to get on facetime have them get on FaceTime, show you the hair, ask if the hair can bleach, if you can burn it. Because especially nowadays, the vendors have different tiers of hair. So they'll tell you, we this is our best quality, this is our budget-friendly quality. So it's up to you to choose which quality you want. Of course, the high-quality hair is going to be more expensive. And sometimes now, especially what I'm noticing now, like a lot of the vendors, especially the virgin hair vendors in China, their high-quality hair is so pretty much at what we used to sell our hair for here. So you're going to have to up those prices if you want to have the best quality hair. So I'm going to go ahead, pull up these Facebook groups to show you exactly what it looks like. I'm going to drop in the comment section my top three ones that you can go to to find different hair vendors. So the first group I'm going to recommend is called Hair Vendor List. This group has 64,000 members. So they're on here sharing different vendor lists telling you guys that they've tried this here, the pros, the cons, what they didn't like about it, what they experienced with the vendor. So this group is great to be a part of. So the trick with the Facebook groups is you can actually search inside of the group. So one thing I love to search is for actual vendor lists. So once you push that in, you can actually see all the vendor lists that have been shared in the group. So if you're one of those people who like to search for people's actual vendors, which there's no way to tell if that's these people's actual vendors, but some of these lists will say like, hey, we have Ming Lee's vendor or just make other claims like that. So if you're one of those people who likes to just 
grab the contact information and then start testing out that hair and that's perfectly fine and then another thing that i'm going to point out with this group specifically is that as you can see on the left it'll say search results and it'll say post you've seen most recent posted by tag location date posted so what i specifically like to do is i like to actually go to the most recent post because as you can see on here a lot of these posts are from like early 2021 2020 so you want to see the most recent vendor list because sometimes these contact informations can change but what you can also do is when you have the name of the vendor you can just search them on instagram or search them on alibaba to get the most correct contact information so now you can see we're seeing the results from 2021 And this is just putting those posts in order. And moving on to the next thing that I want to show you is how to actually search for all the hair vendor groups on Facebook. So as you can see on this list that shows up, you can see all the different lists that they have. Well, not lists, but all the different groups that they have that you can join just to get more information about different hair vendors. So if you want to join, like for me, I like to join three, like three to five. And then I typically weed out which ones are not serving me. So these are all the different options that you have. And you can see that I only search hair vendor. So if you type that into your Facebook search bar, it'll pull up this list for you as well. And there you have it. So there are several other groups like that. So just hop on Facebook, do a quick search, filter out the groups, and you'll find the one that best works for your business. So the next method that I'm going to talk about is Instagram. One thing that I love about Instagram is that you do not have to find vendors. These vendors will find you. They will be in your inbox. Like, so a lot of people like to set up dummy pages that say like, hair business you put a couple pictures up and they will flood your inbox i'm going to show y'all what exactly my inbox looks like and we're going to click some of these vendors just so i can show you their page how they're advertising what the message actually looks like when they contact you yeah so i'm actually going to go to my real business hair page which is her destination hair so let's go ahead and pull this up and you're going to find them in the message request sections because you're not going to be following them back. Well, some of y'all might be following vendors back, but I personally don't. Okay. So the first vendor that stood out to me was CLJ Virgin Hair Factory. So she wrote me and said, hi, dear. This is Lacey from CLJ Hair. We are the biggest of the 4x4, 5x5, 13x4 HD and transparent lace supplier. More than 10,000 pieces in large stock. Tall... Top raw and virgin quality with competitive price. May we send you pics and wholesale price. So they did go ahead and send some pictures of the hair. And then the next one that we have is AMG Hair Collection. So she said, hey friend, this is Tina from AMG Hair. Tax season is coming. We have big deal. Come on, get your hair stocked. 100% virgin hair. No shedding, no tangle. Can be dyed in bleach. Wig, bundle, closure, frontal, including HD lace and stock, FedEx or DHL, three to four days shipping to the U.S. Top servant can, re can refund if the hair is bad. So they are in our inbox and they are pitching these hair businesses. So you want to contact them. Like at least like one of the things I like about Instagram is that as soon as I get a vendor that contacts me, if I want to try out the hair, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to go over to YouTube. I'm going to type in that vendor's name on YouTube to see if they have actual photos, videos, if anyone else has done any reviews. And then I'm going to take my search over to Facebook to see if any of the people in my group have also done a review on that company. Because nine times out of ten, like it's 2022, more, most people aren't running across new hair businesses. And if they are running across new hair businesses, it's probably just an old vendor who has changed their name to something new and they're trying to act like they're a new company. So in that case, what you want to do is pay attention to how the bundles are wrapped. So that way you're making sure you're not coming across those vendors who just like to change their names. So the next way that I like to search for vendors is actually by using TikTok. So TikTok, you'll find 
find a lot of vendors on there like if you search vendor list you can search hair supplier like they'll start showing up and one thing i love about tiktok is the actual vendors are on there and they're very active so and when i say by very active like they'll be in their factories they'll be showing showing the hair having actual talking videos some vendors will go live on there and i'm gonna show y'all a few examples of what exactly i mean by this so i'm gonna head straight over to tiktok so we're gonna type in a popular search of celebrity vendor list okay so the first one that pops up has 45,000 likes and it has all the hair vendors that you'll need well not all the ones that you'll need but all the popular ones that you're going to be looking for so she's dropping their contact information and their let's see what else she's dropping so she's dropping their contact information and their instagram names and you can find that all for free on tiktok and then i'm gonna search let's see one of the vendors she put was gs hair so we're gonna look up gs hair to see if they actually have a page and I'm going to pull up what exactly it looks like on their page. If you guys can probably see it. but So I'm going to pull this up on the screen. But yes, they have different pictures. They're showing you the hair. They have their contact information. They actually have photos in the factory. So I'm going to show you guys all of this. So that's pretty much how you can find vendors for free. Just using your... So that's pretty much how you can find vendors for free. Just using social media. Just quick searches finding them, contacting them, but like what everything you're going to have to spend some money. So the best research that you can do is that once you find these vendors, search them on YouTube and in those Facebook groups, just to see if anyone else has had, well, not to see if anyone else has had any bad experience, but to see if multiple people have had any bad experiences, because there's a great vendor right now that I currently use that some people have had good experience. Some people have had bad experiences. So you want to get a collective of what type of experience people are having and then address that with the vendor talk to them about it and then order the hair and a quick hack for ordering hair to make sure you're protected is see if they have alibaba so if they have alibaba alibaba offers trade insurance so with trade insurance if you don't like the hair they offer you a money back guarantee or if they don't send the hair you get your money back so see if that vendor has alibaba so you can get the trade insurance to make sure that if something goes wrong you'll be able to get your money back but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I hope you've learned something. And if you did or didn't, make sure you drop that in the comment section below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any video topics you want me to cover, drop that in the comment section below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media channels. I'm Destiny Adams on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, pretty much everything. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. <laughs>